Use the referral link in the description to G2A.com for all of your Xbox codes, PlayStation codes and video games and be sure to use the code CHEZ at checkout to get yourself 3% cash back. Hey guys, welcome to episode 4 of season 2 here at Newcastle. We start the Premier League season today with a game away from home against Brighton. We've then a game at home against Fulham to follow that up in a week's time. We are in the process of moving on a couple of players to try and raise some extra funds. We're not sure at this stage whether we'll spend those funds in this window or wait until January. We have already made a number of alterations to the squad with outgoings and incomings. We've brought permanently last year's loanees Kennedy and Ruben Loftus-Cheek. We've gotten in on pre-contract Eduardo Salvio and Diego Reyes. And in this window we've brought as well Zachariah and Juan Bissaka. So all in all, six new players in this window. Two Brought over from last year with loanies, and then uh, four purchases this year. Or two pre-contracts, two loanies made permanent, and then two brand new signings. So uh, I think we might well have done enough in this window for now. But I'm still we have the depth to be able to sell still, to be able to raise the funds to potentially sign more players in January should we need them, or further alter the squad. Because obviously it's going to need to change more if we're to challenge at the top of the Premier League. Now, it's going to be Diego Reyes' debut for us here and Dennis Zachariah's debut. Reyes was away on international duty in the uh, Copa America throughout pre-season. And Dennis Zachariah we only signed after the last game of the last episode. So both players making their debut here. Uh, Salvio, Juan Bissaka, uh, both making their Premier League debuts for us. And hopefully... It will be a good Premier League debut as well. Drop the video a like if you enjoy. Subscribe to the channel too to make sure you don't miss out on any further content. The board want Europa League football from us or a Europa League finish in the league this year for Europa League football next season. Is that side, in your opinion, strong enough to finish in the top six? Let me know in the comment section down below. I'm not too sure, but I also don't want to just make a bajillion signings in the second season and kill all, you know, scalable growth. So we've got six new players in the side now. And for the time being, I think that's enough. Let's go and play Brighton. Matthew Ryan in goal for Brighton and Hove Albion today. Montoya, Okpaguma, Dunk and Lato at the back. Lato is decent Spanish left back, actually. Jahan Bax, Prepa, Defort and Izquierdo on the left. With Pascal Gross set behind Florian Andone. Yes, Florian Andone up top for Brighton. They always cause me trouble, Brighton. But hopefully today won't be another example of that. We were in good form in pre-season. In fact, very good form in pre-season. I really want to keep that going if we can. And Brighton and Fulham are two of the kindest fixtures we could have been given to start the season. So I'd very much like to get six points in today's episode. Juan Bissaka out to Salvio. There's Ruben Loftus-Cheek busting forward. Philip. All looking for Iozzi who gets there. Thinks it. It's going to drop to Kennedy. How have you missed that, mate? Kennedy with a free header. Lovely header by Dennis Sakurai there. How has Kennedy missed an open goal? Not the best way to start the season from you, young Kennedy. Ruben off to seat, came back from his loan spell and instantly made a great impact in the... Oh, that was terrible. In the pre-season friendlies. This is Kennedy's first start for us since coming back. And, well, he could have had a better five minutes, couldn't he? I should be 1-0 up. Arto. Therefore, the ball is on to his Kirdo and he's played it. Juan Bissaka trying to close him down. It's Kirdo back there to Davy Prepper. Ball to Pascal Gross. Where is he going here? Wide, evidently. Diego Reyes with him. Gets a good block on that, Diego. Having a good debut so far. Pascal Gross will deliver the ball into the box here. It's a good one, too. And Paguma's up. That Paguma makes it bright and one. Newcastle on nil. The header from the corner. Unfortunately for him, I think it was. I think it was Kennedy that was underneath that. Oh, it was two players underneath it. Kennedy, one of them, but I can't, I can't blame him for that. Oh, wow, one nil Brighton. It's been all Newcastle, and then right on the stroke of half time, they get a simple set piece and power the header home. We are going to be behind at half time. It's Kyodo. Inside to Andone. Nice tackle by Wan Bissaka. Inside. Working this around nicely. Kennedy's out wide. That's a beautiful ball by Ozzy Perez. Kennedy in the box. Can he redeem himself from the first half? Oh, what a save from Matthew Ryan. 
Great pass by Perez. Great run by Kennedy. Equally matched by the save from Matthew Ryan. Now they scored from a set piece. Can we do the same? Balls in. It was the man that scored the goal at Paguma that headed that one away. Salvio looked to accelerate away. Just drop the shoulder and turn. That's not the best of balls in. Every proper heads away. Jamal Lasse will power that header back towards Rubelov to seek. There's Zakaria. There's Kennedy again. He's got the turn in. Kennedy. I'm going to have to come back. Zakaria's there. Salvio. Rubelov to seek. Salvio. Is that a foul? No. Oh, it's frustrating. Half an hour to go. I said I waited six okay, points yeah. from today's episode. We're currently <laughs> half an hour away from losing the first game. Nice ball into his kid, though. Just waiting for a cut back there that didn't come. It's a decent delivery to Pravka punts his way, but only as far as Stefan Defour delays with his shot. Oh, it wasn't far away from his kid at all, but thankfully it's wide. Dale Stevens coming on for Stephen Defour for Brighton. They're making a change. I might have to do something similar myself in a moment to try and give us the impetus to push forward and get a goal to at least get a point from this game. Don't want to lose on the opening day of the Premier League. Yes, it's away, but Brighton really are a side that we should be beating if we're aspiring to be Europa League qualifiers this season. Desperately hoping that we can get something out of this game still. But if they score a second, it really is game over. Nice ball out wide to Jahan Bax. And Donny Chess sat down well to Prepa. Here's Pascal Gross. He went for this shot. Good block. Entirely too sure why. Chilwell will just get this away. Rimelov to seek. will help it out to Salvio, who's got some space to run into here. And as Kyrgyz closed me down, we've gotten away well from the challenge there. Look to slot through a teammate. In play through Kennedy again. He's heavily involved in everything this game, Kennedy. That's a decent ball in. It's going to drop. Oh! Great volley first time, but saved by the keeper. Oh, two changes. Zakaria off, Shelby on. And... Kennedy off. Oh, Shelby almost with the instant, instant impact. Kennedy off and Dwight Gale on out wide. So I now have three strikers on the field. Oh, what a ball over the top. Lacadia has gone backwards inexplicably. Pascal Gross out wide to Jahan Bax. Why did Lacadia go backwards there? He was in on goal. Not that it matters because his Kyrgyz is going to volley them 2-0 in front. We are going to lose on the opening day. Down on the south coast. Pre-season means nothing. We were dominant in pre-season other than the Levante game. We have not been here. There's Salvio. Oh, that's a nice turn. Unfortunately, he hasn't quite gotten away from Lato there. Juan Bissaka. How's that for a delivery? Very good indeed. Same about Perez's header. It will be a corner. I mean, if we could get one back, that would be at least some sort of confidence builder for the next game. Had to play that back there. We're going to enter John Joe Selby. Still got Jamal Asel there. Rimelov just seeks that wide. We'll go one way, then back the other. And Maximilian Philip draws a good save out of Ryan. We might well have scored a couple of goals in this game and taken at least a point if it weren't for the good saves from their keeper. We are going to get one back. That time, Iosi, head, Iosi Perez's header was decent. But unfortunately, it's too little too late. If Kennedy had scored... With the open goal, where he hit the bar in the opening few moments, it might well have been a completely different game. If Matthew Ryan hadn't pulled off a great save from Kennedy's one-on-one -on -one in the second half, it might well have been a different game. Unfortunately, it wasn't. And we ended up losing by two goals to one. I don't feel like I deserved that. We started dominant, couldn't build on it get the ball in the back of the net and ended up getting shot in the back by that half time or first half stoppage time goal and then couldn't get myself back in the game before they went 2-0 up then I get my goal but it's too little too late key sold gone to Wolfsburg alone for Christopher Wagner reject thank you very much Porto he's going nowhere we will continue to train I do need to actually someone gave me a good idea actually to set up different presets for training. And I, I will probably do that after the transfer window has ended. And we'll set up presets for a number of the different youngsters. And we'll, we'll rotate week by week. But for now, we're going to continue on towards the game against Fulham. In fact, I might do that off camera after this episode. Ah, finally, a transfer offer for Federico Fernandez. It's one that I would very much like to get a little bit more from. Although he does only have a year left on his contract. So I can't be too forceful in negotiations because he's 
contract is expiring soon and he's 30 years of age. They might well meet me at six and a half though. No. He said that's their final offer. We'll see if we can get something more out of them. They might just walk away here if that was genuinely their final offer. It wasn't their final offer, but they're not necessarily rising too high from where they were. Just give me his valuation. Thank you. It's more the wages. 37 grand a week is a lot of money for the level that we're playing at right now. So the money will come in handy. Well, in the Premier League, as you can see there, we are top of the losers. 14th in the table. Everyone else below us has also lost. Oh, he yeah. probably could have guessed that I'd be top loser, couldn't you? Release clause play. Ah, release clause paid for Jamie Sterry. Good. An offer for Isaac Hayden. That's intriguing. That's more than his valuation. Leicester City might well be taking Isaac Hayden off our hands as well here. I shall propose a new transfer fee of seven and a half. And if they come anywhere near six and a half, I'll accept. Not that I'll have to, because they've accepted seven and a half. Thank you. And Zimmerman's gone out on loan as well. So a couple of the youngsters have gone out on loan. A handful of them, the majority of them, are still with me and will be used in cup competitions this season. Carabao Cup has been drawn against Coventry away from home for tomorrow, which is great news because that will give the youngsters a chance to play before the end of the window as well. Fulham up next, though. And, well, I just need to be better, don't I? Fulham starting lineup: Fabricio in goal. Not Sergi Rico because he's gone back from his loan spell. Christy, Magayan, Mawson and Lamarchon at the back. Zobnin, Seri and Kearney in midfield. Aite, Schuller and Pabon. Not a very strong lineup. Beatable, but so were Brighton. So I'm not going to take anything for granted here. I'm playing the same 11. I'm going to show faith in them. We had the chances in the last game to win it. If we can play and be as creative as we were in game one, then I'm confident that we can get a win from game two. We might be able to start off oh, in the best possible fashion. Nearly got a goal in the opening few moments against Brighton. We've nearly gotten a goal in the first few moments oh, against Fulham. But it hasn't come. Throw for Fulham. Kenny finds Pabon. Salvio with a turn. He's just kept that in. Nice ball by Lamarchand into Schuller. Try not to get drawn too far out of position with Diego Reyes. Zobnin. 1-0 Fulham. Great strike from the edge of the box. There's just a little pocket of space. There's room enough to see come out here. You can see just a little area. Three yards is all he needed on the edge of the box to turn and get his shot away. Struck it really well. Dupravka close, but not close enough. 1-0 down after 11 minutes. Kennedy. Kennedy. Back to Zakaria. Through the gap there to Philip. Poke it to Perez. Get this to Salvio. Oh, I didn't play it anywhere near that hard. Cross will come in. Oh, I didn't put that much power on it at all. That's really frustrating. Salvio was in behind if the weight of the pass was as I intended it to be. I barely tapped the button and it's flown as if I'd held it for ages. Thankfully, Rublev to seek intercepts that and then just kicks it straight to Florida Ite. Two sort of ways done that. Jamal Asel can't get it off them. Shula to Zobnin. Thankfully, his touch lets him down. We will work it away. That would have been infuriating there if it had just auto passed and I'd have lost possession and ended up conceding. The Saka will go across here to Maximilian Philip. We'll drop the shoulder and then arriving here is Zakaria, but I can't find him. It was a good counter attack there and a wasted opportunity. Sobnin into Aite. Sobnin through to Andre Schürrle. Oh, help me. Fulham 2, Newcastle 0. Three, less than three and a half minutes into the second half. Booze from the home fans. We haven't started the new season well, that is for sure. I think it's a bit early for booze, to be honest. Perhaps a little bit too soon to be booing the team. There are some new players that need time to bed in. Perez is there on the run forward is Ben Chilwell. So as Christie's going to match me for pace. We've got it in there to Iosi Perez. The touch is poor, but at least he keeps possession. Philip to Salvio. Philip will go again, but I can't use him. Here's Wan-Bissaka. 
Decent delivery, headed away by Jean Michel Seri. Six minutes to go. It is going to be back to back defeats in the Premier League season to begin it for us. Well, the only way is up, isn't it? Last year on FIFA 18, we had a series with Southampton where we narrowly avoided relegation one year and then with some transfers in season two, were then challenging for Champions League spots at the end of that second season. And we didn't have the challenge continue year to year. Now, whilst we did better in season one than we did with Southampton here with Newcastle, it does appear that the challenge of actually getting this side to the upper reaches of the Premier League is going to take longer than just that one season and an extra transfer window that it did in FIFA 18, which, as far as I'm concerned, is good news. Last thing we want to do, really, is just kill the series by being too good too soon. And evidently, we are not too good right now. Brighton 2, Newcastle 1... Fulham 2, Newcastle 0. And I certainly did not create anywhere near enough in that game. Wolves 2, Manchester United 0 is another big shock. I don't know whether Fulham... Well, Fulham 2... I don't know whether... Are they big shocks? Fulham and Brighton beating me? I mean, maybe not shocks. Manchester City losing both of their opening games is definitely a shock. Manchester United only getting a point from their opening two games is certainly a shock. I feel slightly better about myself... After those opening two games, I was good against Brighton. I just couldn't score. Fulham game, I certainly wasn't good enough. And I have to admit that. In the third game of the uh, Premier League season, we will face Tottenham. So things aren't going to get any easier for us tomorrow. Then it's Coventry in the end of the transfer window. But in the meantime, will we have any more sales? Yes, with regards to Sterry, he's gone. And potentially with Henri Saive. Valued at 3.5. Spal have offered me 3.2. I will ask for... 4.5 and see if they will oh, come anywhere near it. He's 28. I don't play him at all. 3.2. They've offered me the same amount again. Uh, how about... Oh, wrong way. <laughs> Counter offer with 2 million. They'll be like, yeah, sure, we'll pay 2 million for him if that's what you want. Henri Saive looks like he might be on his way out. So players leaving, but points not arriving, unfortunately. Uh, transfer for Jamal Cell that will be most certainly firmly rejected from Lyon. We'll have a quick train as well with the kids. And like I say, in the uh, next episode, I will alter the training schedule slightly or add some more presets in. I'll do that off camera. And then we'll, uh, we'll hopefully be able to train a number of players throughout the course of the season and grow those youngsters into a position where they might well become first team Rotation players at the end of this second season. Isaac Hayden has gone now to Leicester. Uh, transfer for Fabian share from Sevilla that shall be rejected. He's going nowhere. He's not in my starting lineup anymore. In fact, I'm contemplating taking Reyes out and putting Wagner back in because evidently, with Wagner in the back line, we were keeping clean sheets. I'm sure it's not purely Diego Reyes's fault. Federico Fernandez also now sold as well. So we have, in a transfer budget, £22 million. And, well, say £20 million and £80,000 in the wage budget. So there's enough there to do something in January. But I think I will wait until January to do that something. Wagner will put back into the starting lineup for the game against Tottenham. And hopefully we can do better in tomorrow's episode. I'd very much like to at least advance in the Cup. But not the start to the league season we anticipated... But it's almost a good thing with regards to the progression of the series. If it's going to continue to be a challenge, then it's going to continue to be entertaining. Hopefully that's, cause, that's what you guys are after. Drop the video a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe to the channel too to make sure you don't miss out on more. I'll see you next time.